Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So this video is about all the ultimates for all the characters for sure. The skills with your G and your B for every character. We have 15 characters so we have 30 skills for sure in total for all of them. From a long time maybe I made a video for this for the first 13 character which was from a long time maybe more than one year. It was even on the Unreal Engine 3 but this time will be a bit different because I will begin to talk about every one of them if you can use it or it's not usable or it's actually useless or anything like this so anyway let's begin this video so before this don't forget to like and subscribe for sure and let's begin this so starting this video with Blade Master first so our first ultimate with our G so this ultimate simply doing some swords the swords can give you some resist so you have three attacks you can resist it and it's doing not bad damage and it's looking like this as you can see and you can press the last one so you can do a bigger one so if you see the damage not maybe that big damage in compared to your skills with the same character with blood master for sure if i use normal skills so i can do more damage than this so simply when you use this ultimate you will use it for just one reason you need to resist some attacks and you don't have any resisted skills ready for you so you can use it do more damage and also you can resist three attacks also it's hard to use on pvp or anything like this because it's simply done for straightforward so anyone can dodge it roof behind you go to the to the right to the left so you can't do anything about it second ultimate we have here with our b so this one can give the opponent this for three seconds and also this one usable for five times so it be like this so you can use it one two three four and five if you want this one is doing this away from this dummy not taking this so you can use it on mobs as example you can this all of them especially if you are playing something like sanctum of master you can this all the mobs because of this and you can attach them as you want that is for three seconds so it's not a bad number for sure and also it's good when you are playing pvp if i will say we are playing anyway for battle ground you can this all of your opponent like this and also you can use it so you can escape from any bad situation also you can use it on dungeons when you are fighting with a boss and you know there is an aura under the boss like uh, the one on dream nexus as example and you tend to dodge it so maybe you can use this ultimate also so you can go away from this so now let's go for the next character the second character we have is force master so force master have ultimate with the g it's actually make her jump on the air and throw something so it can do high damage the damage happen after three seconds after one hit before all of this when it hit the target so actually when you use this ultimate you have to make sure that the opponent is standing on the same place or you will fail for sure to hit it so it's hard to use on pvp but if you can do it it will make something good and also it can use as a burst so if i will say i will go and make a burst with my force master so i can do it like this use my ultimate then i can use any other skills like this and it can do good for me and doing some good damage so and compare to my still secret flames actually was a bit far but it's not so bad on damage so it can make use for a burst for sure Saturn the ultimate was my b called the laser so this one is actually making a freeze around here like what you can see so this still simply good to use on mobs because it can make them freeze on their place and you can tell them so easy and like what you can see so their legs is actually freezing that will make some orbs also on the opponent so that can help you doing some good damage on them as well so it's actually good to use when you want as example having some mobs on the dungeons and you need to freeze them so you can do something well or you don't need them to reach the boss as that is for the demnitzas as example so for sure it's this ultimate you can use it for this and also for pvp so it can use when you have a lot around you so you can use it and try to make them freeze so your party can get a better position and also they have a lot of freeze opponents so you can attach them so easy so it can help for sure on this so let's go for the next starter now okay sir so the starter we have is gunner so actually the first ultimate was our g sniper stance this one it can make some not bad damage actually in all the days we was using this as a burst but now actually the burst is so high on the starter so maybe this one it will not do that much but anyway if you will use it for any reason let's run like this you press g 
and you can use it right away or you can wait until it take all of this so it can do the much damage so as you can see just 33 million it's not something if i will use my geo as an example then use my lmb so asher is still did more damage than sniper stance by far as you can see so now sniper stance is not almost usable for any burst or anything like this also it's hard to use on pvp and also it's hard to use on dungeons and in any sand that have no resistance have nothing so almost useless still at the moment for ultimate number two it's your b fire flare this one is making a flash so it can make a blind for anyone around you for five seconds so it's good on pvp for sure because it can blind all the opponent on the place no one will see you and you can kill all of them so it's doing like this then after this two seconds when you saw this aura all on this area will take the blind next starter we have Tonfo master so Tonfo master have two ultimates our g it's called eight talons so this ultimate you can do it from 16 meter and that's something good for sure and also it do 5 hits it have 3 time during the attack to have a resist so it can be usable as you are fighting and also it's doing not bad damage so if you can see I can use it from all of this place actually as a damage it's not something high in compared to as example if I would say I will use wolf stance like this even if I will not touch anything so as you can see Pet Frenzy actually did more damage than the ultimate so I can see when you use this ultimate you just need to use it as a resist it can do something for sure and also PvP for sure this one was killing opponent on arena maybe just the full HP if you can do it anyway when you have a chance and the game going for too long and also in pvp for battleground also it was doing well because it can go through opponents if you have two opponents as example next to each other so it can go between all of them and attacking them and the last attack especially what doing the best damage on this attack second ultimate was my b it's called aftershock so this one is actually launching the target in the air it do an area around you for 8 meters so it can make all of them take the damage and all of them go to air and actually the range for this also going for 16 meters so if I will use it like this so I fly it and I can make a fly combo after this and I can do all of this for all of them so maybe I can take them fly and actually use something like this still so I can do damage to all of them and that's something good actually it's not usable on anything or actually useless when it comes to dungeons it's good for pvp and especially for battleground more than even arena next starter we have is destroyer so destroyer have ultimate with g called arts frenzy so this one actually i can say it's a useless ultimate if you will use it you have to be close to your opponent you can't defense or use any block against it and that's actually don't for any ultimate on the game to make it precise any ultimate you can't have anything to do and you can resist it but you can't block it or anything like this so anyway the ultimate is going like this so you use your g and it will make a lot of attacks so you can use it a lot like this it will take time until it finish but actually it's not doing that heavy damage 40 million if i will compare it with any other uh, still especially for the time you take on this time so if i will say i will just do this so I did more than 40 million by far, I did 100 million on just this time and actually it was with a normal speed, like said the speed is not the highest on damage so actually the ultimate, you can just use it to resist maybe the first two seconds point four, and maybe you can use it more and actually as destroyer have a lot of resist anyway so maybe that will make no difference for you, especially for third speed Latest ultimate and this one may be the usable one on dungeons and on pvp even so eye of the storm so this one it will make you throw the arts and the arts will spin on the target this spin can make them pull all of them on the same place and also can these all of them and it's also making some good damage and as it does this damage you can do your attacks normally so if i will use it like this and i can use my e and begin to fight okay so for sure that is a spin and you can use the ultimate like this it will not do that big damage like eye of a storm like 3 million dps that's not so bad as you are doing your main damage normally and you have no problem it's good for sure for pvp if you can use it on battleground or even on arena because you can dis your opponent you can 
Do any sender about it away from resist or dodge it with full body for sure. So it can dodge this away from this for sure. He will take that much damage. And it can't resist also maybe with 5 resist attacks or anything like this because it doing a lot of damage or a lot of attacks so it can break shields so easy. Next starter we have is Assassin. So Assassin have his G called Shadow Step. So the skill it will make you trader stills for 15 seconds. That's for sure a good number. And also a lot of skill called Viper Fan. The skill for 15 seconds resist the damage and still effect for just one time over 3 seconds and also doing not, not bad damage so you press your G you go to stealth go from behind as example then use it like this this skill was so good on PvP especially when we was playing on battleground or even on arena because it can easily tell someone like this as you are stealth and come from behind him or he don't see you for any reason and then kill him so easy with this it's not usable that much I can say on dungeons as I can see the damage is just 12 million not something for this character and compared to any other skill like if I will just press this actually too much more damage so I can say it's useless for using on dungeons away if you can use it just for stills okay for the Saturn the ultimate called blind step and this one is the best maybe still to step on maybe the game because it can make you go too far so if I will say I want to reach end of the arena so I can press B up to five times every one it will make you do this blink and with this blink no one almost can chase you so it's so easy to run or dodge and send on dungeons or even reach some far points you can't reach if I say there's a mechanics and need you to go far as example you can use this ultimate you can reach it so easy so for sure it's super fast to run with something like this especially with assassin skills like this also with your E so you can make so easy steps with your assassins and this ultimate for sure can help you on this and next starter we have is summoner so actually summoner have a good ultimate on his G called rumble to win so this one throwing something on the opponent I forgot what it told by the way <laughs> so actually this one is doing so, so good damage and compared to summoner for sure because summoner don't have that big burst anyway and also can do some damage and as you are using your ultimate you can attack also with it like something like force master I can say so it can do some good damage so the ultimate is like this so it's around this and you can actually go in for your burst for sure after this if you use your stills well and everything will be good for you so you can use it on the start of the fights it will do well for you anyway Saturn the ultimate actually I don't feel it that important or the besties so this one it used on the familiar for four seconds so party time is available on besties in the fit familiar resist damage and set surface so it's can usable for your cat simply to not die so it's going like this as you can see there is a shield on the cat so this one can protect her for some time maybe this one can be good when you are playing on pvp as an example on battle drawing so you can use it on your cat so she will not die so easy so you can do everything well especially this one can be well when you are using your first or second spit because the cat so easily to die unlike the third spit not uh, not easy to kill them or to kill it so maybe you can use it for this for dungeons i don't feel this one will be usable that much you will use the first one because it will do better for you okay next we have soul fighter so soul fighter have ultimate with g called the soul surge so this one is doing some multiply attacks something closer to kung fu master one but the range is so low it's a uh, genesis is a boss like this on just four meter so it's doing damage like what you can see and also it can resist three time attacks it's actually looking good as an attack for sure and also doing some stats for you and also recover some photos and things like this it's not doing that high damage so for sure if you will use it you will use it just for one reason you need to resist about three attacks and you can use this ultimate for this because you have no resist ready or you don't have any still is ready for you or you can't even change stance for another still so you can do the dodge away from this don't even use it or bother yourself about it okay Saturn the ultimate with your B is called harmonize this still is actually the best healing still in the game 
and for your party especially because it can make all of your party run for full HP so easy and actually it's usable in a lot of places so if I will say your party about to die so you will use it like this and actually this one will heal everything around you so all of your party will back to full HP same with you also so this still especially will do a lot different for you and even it can increase your maximum HP as well so it will make your party taking more damage as you see I was have normally 500 K HP I was on more than 600 so it for sure give me a lot of HP that can make me live where to use it you can use it on dungeons when your party about to die you can use it also on battleground especially on the pvp and also on tag and uh, arena sometimes we was going in and i should use this ultimate so we can heal the other one and for battleground for sure because it can make all of your party heal so that for sure i can say it's handicap i can say on the starter to use this ultimate it's overpower when you use it well and in a good time for sure okay next starter we have is blade dancer so actually it have a good ultimate on g called giga sword so this one makes make the character spin simply and have a bit sword doing some good damage i don't see any resist on it and also doing more damage when there is a stun and this opponent it's good to use in a lot of places so the ultimate is simply like this as you saw it you can use this ultimate for sure to kill on pvp so easy especially on arena we was doing one shot on all the days not sure how it will do for now also it's a good one battle ground also you can use it maybe on dungeons away from i didn't see that with damage coming from this skill but in general i can say it's a good ultimate and you can use it it's actually looking fun also and away from this it have some other good points like as example it can give you 100 vision or it is your vision to buy your 100 percent so that's for sure something good especially if you are playing pvp and having a lot fighting with you and maybe can dodge a good attack from a boss or anything like this so for sure it can help for the second ultimate called the black hole this one is actually pulling your enemies and it is them for three seconds it's something closer to a skill on the blade dancer so it's like this for sure if this dummy wasn't the training dummy the normal one it will be pulled until they go under the character for sure and this one can do so good when it comes to going for mobs as example maybe you can use this for symptom of master as example and also you can use this on pvp on battleground especially and maybe on the tags in arena so you can pull them and that can help you kill all of them with the three certain days because it's actually a good number for sure to kill next starter we have is warden so the g for the warden is called Penta storm so this ultimate actually going for multiply attacks for five times and doing the resist for three times during this use and also can recover your resilience which is this 100 percent if it's going down for sure and also press defense and the parry and that's something normal for for any ultimate on the game anyway so and it have a range also for eight meter so it will be like this if you press g so it doing damage in all of this area actually it have not bad damage in compare so like 32 million something actually so maybe you can use this especially if you are dodging on the dungeons or you feel your burst was doing bad a bit away from i don't feel it will be better than your burst like if i will press something like this well burst don't super high more than this so for sure if you will use it you will use it like a blade master or any other character have a resist for three attacks on his ultimate so i don't have any resist i will use my ultimate in between and mostly you will never need to use it anyway and that's a bad point for sure but it will be good for arena for pvp in general it can make a lot of damage for all of the opponents you can find and also because you can resist their attacks at this time as well okay second ultimate actually this one called realm break so this one doing some damage and it is also damage for the stuns and anything on cc by the way or on the stun opponent especially it have also resilience doing the stun for three seconds when the first attack hit if the first attack didn't hit so maybe it will not do this and also doing the freeze for five seconds on the opponent that got the hit so the ultimate will be light this so as you can see stun and also freezed on its place 
So this one if I will say it you will use it so maybe it can be for mobs as well because it can make the stun and also it have a larger area same for the first ultimate as well you can use it on something like Sentinel of Master because it can do damage for multiply targets and also it's more going for arena and for pvp more than anything next starter we have is warlock so warlock have its g called in serial so this is still doing some good damage and also make like something like a shackle so like a link between you and the other character you are attacking and it will make it take a snare for four seconds when the first attack is hit and also if you move for sure this then it will begin to go out and also doing a certain damage to do some good number of damage I will not say this one can, use, can be usable for a burst but let me see it can not work for sure on dungeons on the bosses or anything like this as you saw so for sure if you will use it maybe you need something like this to use just on sometimes when you want to do some damage or you want to make some small resistance away from I didn't see a resist on this still so actually there is no still so I can say this one is just usable on PvP more than anything you can make your opponent go for a snare for sure and others can attack it if I will say you are playing battleground or playing the tags and also on one on one you will just snare it and actually he will take the damage if he light it or not so that's something good for sure on a still like this so if you want to dodge it you need to go away from it from the start with a dodge with SS or anything like this or a resist still before it even hit you away from this you will take the damage for sure or your B so this still is called the turret shins so this one going for shins for just 3 seconds it made a daze for 3 seconds it have a good area I think just a target so it's just a target there is no area and it starts 3 times and the water as joint attack so warlord and Sral gain suppression effect for 4 seconds when this shin is starting you have 100 on the moon fortress each time the enemy that is this effect so if I will say normally we recover our HM focus so easy so it will be used for PvP it will be like this when you use it that make it chains you can't see the chains here because this one look like it and takes the damage but if you will use it here so it will be like this it made it chains and shuttle you like this for 3 seconds that will be something good for sure in PvP but on dungeons as we are playing dungeons more than anything at the moment so it will be a useless ultimate for you so i can say double ultimates for warlord will be simply useless here and have nothing important about it next starter we have is archer so archer simply have ultimate with g called overcharge so this one doing this much damage and also the net looks on the use so maybe we can use this looks for doing more damage is defense and also it will be like this when you press G so it will take some time then use them it's actually not drawing for high damage so maybe you will not use something like this it have no resist it have nothing so almost not usable ultimate it's actually just for sure certain ultimate with your B called air raid so this one is creating an area doing some damage over this and it is enemies movement and if they take three attacks so it can make them take uh, these uh, sorry for take a stun so actually it's light is this simply it's going for too much arrows so anyone like this takes three hits take a stun and simply this one can go more maybe for something wide areas like fighting a lot of things like on Sanctum of master maybe you can use it more for pvp and nothing more than this so i can say most of the altars for archer is almost useless when it comes to dungeons and that's what i can say about it so we have astromancer so astromancer have an ultimate with g and it's called supernova this one is doing uh pulses doing some damage over four times and this one you can use it as you are fighting by the way so it's doing a good damage and then compare you can use it as you are fighting so this ultimate will be this so when we are using this doing some good damage it's not super high damage but you can use it as you are fighting normally so if i would say i am fighting normally like this doing my combos and doing everything and going for everything i am normally using so i can use my ultimate in between in between this fight and also it can do some not bad damage it can also 
help as you are fighting for sure. Titan, the ultimate I can say it's a defensive one, not usable maybe on dungeons that much and maybe you will not, never use it on dungeons anyway. It will make a projectile resistance for your party on the area on this ultimate for the 8 meter around the character and also it will knock back anyone will be on the area and for sure after the knockback they will take a knockdown so ultimate will be like this. So it's actually looking so good I like how it looked. And on this area, it's resistible to any projectile, so anyone will attach you with a ranged character, all of this will be blurred. And also, anyone on this place will go away back, away from this circle, and will take a knockdown after this. So for sure, it's a good ultimate for PvP, for sure, and nothing more than PvP, more than PvE. If you will use it also, maybe you can use it on Sanctum of Master if you want, so you can make all the mobs go away from you, and you try to kill them and maybe it will be an easy task for you when you do this next starter we have is dual blade so actually dual blade wasn't on the old video but it was you saw maybe this ultimate when i made the overview and for sure for who know it so normally he saw it so this one just doing damage nothing more than this is called the convergence or convergence sorry convergence so just to use it to damage nothing more it's not doing that bad damage in compared to some other ultimates so maybe you can use it when you feel yourself a bit far from the boss as example and i don't see maybe you will need to use it anyway just that have a good point if you have a lot of characters in front of you and want to fight all of them and use your ultimate so you can do this it can work also for mobs maybe when you are playing on symptom of master will not be that bad away from Normally you will not do that much damage with this ultimate, but as you can almost do in one target attacks with your character, so this one going for multiply characters, so it's not so bad. Second ultimate, for this one is called Harvest, so it makes you approach your opponent from five, from 16 meter and have area for 5 meter and can make a these for the character you just launched on them. For three second and also it have a certain test so if you use it like this you can use a certain test it will make you go back so i can see this it can be usable as approaching the still for pvp more you can use it so you can this your opponent you can fly it you can use it and escape again and make the others attach the, the starter and kill it so maybe it's multiply uses for this so when it comes to pvp but for PvE, it's actually useless. Away from some was using this ultimate shield so they can approach the boss away from using this too as example. As maybe it can make a small damage, but I don't see any point from this anyway. And the last starter we have on this game is actually Musician. So Musician have ultimate with G called over to you, so this one just simply a damage. Nothing the more than this. As you can see, that's how it looks. It made damage, maybe I can say it's not so bad on over 3 hits 42 million dps and compared to her dps I don't see it that much But if you want to use it, use it, you can use it maybe for moves as it can go for more wide area Better than the solo target for this character normally on most of its attack So maybe you can use it just for this Away from this I don't feel any point from this ultimate at all And I'm not sure why they call it ultimate in the first place Okay, for your B, it's called Finale, so this doing some damage and launch target on the air, and for sure press defense and the parry. So if you use like this, the starter should be flying now in the air, and the rock light is also doing on area, so everything will fly around you. So it's good for PvP for sure and nothing more than this. That launch multiply targets, so all of you can attack everyone on this area. So I can say after we saw all the ultimates, last thing I want to say, I see the ultimates need a lot of buff if you ask me. Some of the ultimates is actually useless and hard to use or maybe useless to use like as example Dunner ultimate at the moment. Hard to use in between and also it's useless to use because it don't not high damage and on this time I can use better damage on my normal skills. So if I will say this one, the scroll down ultimate will be actually a joke for sure. So a lot of characters have bad ultimates and also in compared to damage and compared to normal skills, it's actually useless. So I hope to see this ultimates maybe change or did better because a lot of ultimates is actually useless on the game. Maybe something like Warlock Ultimate, I will not use it on dungeons as example for my G because it's simply useless. Maybe for my B, it can be usable on something like 
stuff with threat, uh, Sentcom of Masters or anything like this. But away from this, ultimate is actually useless. Ultimate like this one for the musician, doing not bad damage, but on the same time I can do better damage when it comes for these 3 seconds when the ultimate is hitting, because simply if I will use this as a burst I can use something better than this for sure and doing more damage, something like Blood Master ultimate not doing that high damage, but actually maybe it's useful when it comes to resist 3 attacks, so maybe I can use it for this, other ultimate okay, wasn't bad for Blood Master, but for a lot of characters, not something important on their ultimates, so I'm not sure why they told them ultimates from the first place, and I see some of them need a change and some of them need more buff. And that's it for this video, so I hope it was useful for you, and maybe some of you can now use the ultimate better if it have something good for sure, and maybe some of you was using the ultimate will not use it because you they feel it, it's actually useless one. So for who will use ultimates, you can use your HM Fortress and make it a bit higher away from more than 10 will be useless. I use this just for this video so I can see everything but if I will normally play, I actually will make this one go for 5 at max and the go for max at the power it will be more better for me and that's what most of players should do on most of the characters on the game. Away from some maybe have a good ultimate, but anyway your ultimate monster you will use it on the boss, so until you reach the boss, your bar will go for HM Fortress, will go to max, so you will have no problem and you can use it for sure. And that's it for this video, thank you for watching guys, hope to see you again, and see you in the next video, bye bye.